Today in Minecraft Hide and Seek, we hid inside of my brain. I didn't know your head was so big. Oh, yeah. It's because I'm a genius. If you guys like and subscribe at the same time, I'll blow up this TNT inside Sonny's head. No, don't do it. No. Yo, goats, today's awesome. I got the house all to myself. Beautiful. Ah, it's a gorgeous day. Already caught myself a slayman, and I'm gonna probably catch myself a con now. Ooh, a pufferfish. Ooh, the phone's ringing. I wonder who it is. Hello, this is Sunny. Dondale. Sunny, there's an alien invasion. Quickly, get Melon and come to my tower. Okay, I'll go get Melon. We'll head to your tower immediately. This isn't good! Melon, where are you? Do, 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 do. Melon! Emergency! Emergency! Get in the truck! Sonny, what's going on? I caught myself a puffer fish. Oh, that's really cool, actually. But I just got off the phone with Dondale. There's an alien invasion, and we have to get to his tower. Wait, what? Let's get out of here, Sonny! Let's go, let's go, let's go! We made it! Just before the aliens arrived, we might have gotten abducted, Melon. Dude, that would not have been good. Dondale, save us! We're in. We made it to his observatory. Oh, that could have been bad, Sonny. Good thing we're safe and sound. Dondale, thank you for calling me. That would have been such a disaster. No problem. The aliens would have probed your brain. If they took Melon's brain, they would have learned nothing. What do you mean, Sonny? I'm way smarter than you. Bro, you just got a big empty noggin filled with three or four melon seeds at the best. Bro, it's four melon seeds, and I'll have you know one melon seed is equals 400 IQ. It's truth. Yep, that's a lie if I've ever heard one. Wait, what do you mean, Sonny? I'll prove that you're dumber than me. Follow me! <laughs> I know what this is. You really want to go back inside of my brain that badly? Yeah, dude, I've literally been inside your head and let me tell you, there's a whole lot of nothing going on. Sonny, take a seat. We're playing hide and seek. Okay, inside of my head? Sonny, you got two minutes to hide inside of your very own brain and then i'm coming to find you wait what do you mean two minutes i'm not even in my head i need to get in the zone i need to focus time sticking sunny okay i gotta focus it actually worked yes i remember this place i'm in my cerebellum now i've just got to do a little bit of parkour to get deeper into my brain and then melon will never find me boom off the brain stem let's go gotta find a really good hiding spot and i know there's one in my frontal lobe i've just gotta find my way through this labyrinth i have such a dense brain so wrinkly you got 30 seconds left sonny Guys, that should be lots of time. I gotta find a way to get into my frontal lobe. It's this pink area. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, come on. There's gotta be a way up. Wait a second. I'm in my own brain. If I think hard enough, I should be able to, like, build a ladder or something. Let me just think. Uh, yes, it worked. And then I just gotta climb up really fast and imagine it away. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's gone. And now I just gotta go back into my frontal lobe to hide. And for those of you who don't know, this helps control your voluntary movement and speech. So pretty much if something really bad happened in here, I wouldn't be able to talk or control my body. That's it, Sonny. I'm coming in. Perfect. I just got to my hiding spot and I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, I've made it inside Sonny's brain. Check it out. We're in the cerebellum. And look, there's nothing happening. It's a whole lot of empty space. Just a parkour. Yeah, you think so? Then don't touch the water. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's a lot of brain activity down there. Oh, I know. That cerebellum juice is poisonous. And it's what makes you so stupid, Sonny. What do you mean? It makes me extra smart. It charges up my brain juice. Nah, bro. It's eating away your brain power. And it makes you dumb. Yeah. Uh, maybe that happens to you. Oh, this is so scary. This is so scary. But I made it. I could do it. I'm on the brain stem. Yes. Oh, Sonny, I know I'm on to you, buddy. <laughs> I've cleared out this area of the brain. Now I've just got to check out what's next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As if you're going to find out where I'm hiding. Sonny, all in due time. I'm going to win this hide and seek and prove that I'm smarter than you. Yo, chill. Okay, guys, just in case is a backup 
plan. I am going to clog up my frontal lobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way this will affect my intelligence. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a secret door right here. Yes. Now I've entered the main brain something area. Now, Sonny, for my first question. Pink, yellow, or green? Where are you hiding? Wait, what? You're already in the control center. Yeah, I am, buddy. Check this out. Just gonna break this part of the pink area right here. <laughs> and boom. Wait, why am I spinning in circles? What have you done, Melon? Put it back. Put it back. I'll put it back if you tell me where you're hiding. Pink, yellow, or green? I'm in the pink area. It's called the frontal lobe. All right, a deal's a deal. <laughs> Place that back and you're good. Thank you. I lost control of my movement for a second and I was spinning in circles. Sonny, we've got one little problem. How the heck am I supposed to get up there? That's a you problem. I just meditated and created a ladder for myself. Guys, if I concentrate hard enough and squish my head, I could shoot water out. Yeah! Yes, it worked! I squished my melon juices to create a waterfall. Hey, Sonny. You are so weird, Melon. How the heck did you pull that off? Uh, Sonny, watermelons are compromised of 98% water, unlike humans, which are 92% water. Meaning if I concentrate and squish myself hard enough, I can make my own water. Bruh, you are so weird. Okay, bro, why is there just a bunch of random cobblestone in your frontal lobe that makes no sense hey no reason no reason at all potentially is there a sunny hiding behind there huh no definitely not wait yes i can crawl i'm coming sunny i'm oh i can't get under there dude this is gonna take forever sunny second question you behind this cobblestone yes oh my god bro i'm gonna be here for so long too bad you didn't come prepared should have brought a pickaxe melon yeah well next time sunny i will bring a pickaxe and you're gonna regret everything Oh, I made it through. Now, Sunny, you can't hide forever. This area is huge. Guys, this isn't good. Melon's just entered the frontal lobe. He might see me up here. Bro, your brain's so empty, you got bats flying around in it. Dude, relax. They are here on purpose. They're my security detail. Sunny, where are you? I don't have to answer that, do I? Hey, Sunny. <laughs> it's over for you. The neuro toxins are gonna spread and you lose bodily function please don't do it why yes yes i found you round one goes to your boy melon can you please put it back i want to move again yeah i'll put it back don't don't worry about it okay melon you have two minutes to hide i'm back in dawndale's laboratory two minutes is more than enough time guys i've got the perfect plan for this round watermelon belongs in the water <laughs> <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Yo, guys, Melon thinks I can't see him, but I'm gonna meditate and spy on him inside of my own head. I've just got a hum. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -hum. It worked! Yes, I could see Melon. Look at him down here. What's he trying to do? Guys, he's making a secret ghost block area. What the heck? He's like making a secret ghost trap door. And guys, check this out. Now I hide in Sonny's brain. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm okay. And now it's time to dig out my hideout. This might cause a little bit of damage to Sonny. Wait, no. Melon, what are you doing? Ow, ow, ow. Guys, Melon just broke a bunch of my brain and it sent me back into Dondale's lab. I can't see inside of my head anymore. And it's beautiful. This might have caused severe brain damage to Sonny, but guess what? I'm gonna win the hide and seek and prove I'm smarter. All right, Sonny, I'm ready. Okay, Mr. Melon, my head really hurt. Oh, sorry about that. Hold on, let me, uh, let me just help you with, yeah, there you go. You're good. You're good now. Thank you, Melon. I will now re-enter my brain and find you. Ugh. Phew. Okay, guys, I'm back inside of my brain, and I will was faking my injury. It really hurt when Melon broke the blocks, but it didn't cause any severe damage. But now he thinks I won't know my way around. <laughs> but it's a good thing I spied on him and know exactly where he's hiding. Melon, uh, first question. Are you in the, uh, Thalamus? No, I am not. What about the Thalamajunus? Uh, I don't know what the heck 
that is. That ain't even part of the brain. Uh, are you in... Huh, let me think. Are you in the pancreas? No, bro. I'm not in Ban Ban's favorite area. Okay, okay. If you're not in the pancreas, thalamajugus. Oh, uh, that only leaves one place, bro. You're in my cerebellum juices! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I see you. How'd you know? How did you know? It was so obvious. But how the heck do I get you? Uh, don't worry about it. Hey, I see you swimming. I'm running. There's nowhere to run. You're in my brain. I could do the part. No, 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 no. That's right. Don't mess with my brain juice. How did you find me so fast? Melon, give me my two minute warning. I want to start hiding. You got two minutes, Sonny. Then I'm coming in there. And I'm coming in prepared this time. Yes. What does that mean? Don't you worry about it. Guys, I'm kind of nervous. Melon's probably going to come in with TNT and a pickaxe and wreak havoc in my brain. It's okay, though. As long as I win this round of hide and seek, that's what's important. And I've got just the place to hide. Go through the ghost blocks and approach the temporal lobe. Look at this place. It's a pit of never-ending knowledge. And where all my nightmares generate from, so I really don't recommend jumping in there. What the heck did Melon do to this place. He actually juiced his melon head and put a waterfall in here. I gotta get rid of this. And covered up. There we go. It'd be really awesome if I had some ghost blocks. Yo! Perfect! Let me just snag these. Yep, that'll be perfect. And then let's place the ghost blocks, say, right about here. And now I'm gonna hide just in the entrance to the temporal lobe. And hopefully melon drops in and experiences the most evil nightmare of all time. Okay, melon. And I'm ready. All right, Sonny. I'm going in. Good luck finding me. Back where it all began. Sonny, I'm coming for you. Parkour. Yep, go to it. Actually, so easy now. Oh, ah, why? Yo, that's what you get for trying to mess with my brain. Whatever, bro. I've recovered and I'm past the parkour. Sonny, first question. What part of the brain are you in? I'm inside of the temporal lobe. All right, I I have no idea what that is. Sonny, what does that do? The temporal lobe is what creates all of my dark imaginative thoughts. You really do not wish to lurk in the shadows of the temporal. Dark and imaginative thoughts, huh? I know where you are, Sonny. I found you! <laughs> Good luck in there, Melon. What the heck is this? It's so dark and scary. What is happening? Melanie, Melanie hates you. you. Melons are Melon super scrawny super and weak. And You're all out of You're diamonds. All out of diamonds. Quandale, Quandale doesn't like doesn't you. Like Every you. melon, Every will, melon burn. will burn. Melons only Melons now only grow, in, now the grow in the desert. What's going on? What are these voices? Sonny, what is, what is happening? Are these mine or are they your thoughts? What's happening? No! Ah! Melon! Melon, what happened, bro? You couldn't handle the dark <laughs> twisted thoughts. Sonny, I don't want to play this game anymore. So wait, you admit that I win that round? Uh, yeah, you won that round, but it's not over. I can still defeat you. Let's go. I won. Melon, you're such a coward. I got that round of hide and seek for free. Bro, whatever. That was too creepy. Sonny, let me inside your brain again. All right, load in. Feels terrible to be back, but I'm not going in that dark abyss. I will defeat you, Sonny, and prove that I am smarter than you could ever become. Even if you got smarter than me, you're still a coward. You know, just for that, I'm taking away your brainstem. No, don't do it. Ow! He won't be able to find me. He might even forget we're playing hide and seek. Oh, Dondale. Wait, why am I out of the brain? Sonny, where are you going? Dondale, where are the aliens? Where's Dondale? Oh, the aliens did it grab Dondale, I'll save you! Dondale! Sonny, what are you doing? Guys, I broke Sonny's brain. It was not a good idea to get rid of that part of the brain stem. Uh, Sonny, don't go outside. It's dangerous. Remember, there's aliens. Dondale, is that you? No, this is Melon. This is not Dondale. Don't worry, Dondale. I'll check on the aliens. What are you doing, Sonny? What are you doing? Aliens! Ah! Aliens! Wait, Sonny, how are you levitating right now? Wait, what the heck's happening?
happening? No. Wait. No, the aliens! No! Sonny! No! <sighs> Melon! Dondel! Guys, like and subscribe right now to save Sonny from the aliens! Today in Minecraft, I don't feel so good. Guys, I'm inside Sonny's head trying to fight off this yucky infection. Subscribe right now to blow it up. In three, two, one! Achoo! That was so weird, guys. Sonny, bro, when is your food gonna get here? I'm starving. Relax, bro. I didn't think the delivery service would take so long. It said it would be five minutes, but it's been five hours. Just sit back, relax, and stare at your cake. But don't take any bites until I get my food. All right, all right. I promise I won't take any bites. One sliver, he won't notice. Dude, I saw you. What? I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? It's so obvious. Look at my side of the cake. Dang it. I thought it was going to come from my side. All right, Sonny, I'll wait. Wait, did you hear that? It sounded like the doorbell. Come on, come on. Yo, my food's here. Ah, <sighs> so much chocolate. <laughs> Melon, you can eat your cake now. Finally. Mmm, that was delicious. <laughs> Eric, relax, Sonny. Calm down. Oh, Mel, that was delicious. Totally worth the wait. But I gotta sleep this off, bro. My head kind of hurts. Yeah, bro, I'm pretty full, too. Ugh, I'm gonna go get out. Hey, it says sweet dreams because I ate all that candy and chocolate. Uh, good morning, Melon. Good morning, Sonny. I don't feel so good. Uh, Sonny, are you okay? Oh, uh, my head hurts. Bro, are you good, man? Uh, <laughs> I don't feel great, Melon. This is weird. You probably just have a big headache. You're okay. Uh, Melon, I don't, I don't feel so good. Sonny, what are you doing? Uh, uh, oh, my brain. It hurts. Guys, something's really wrong with Sonny. I've got to go see Dondale and see what's wrong. Sonny, come with me. Where are you, Melon? Is this you? I'm right here. Yes, this is me. This is me. Just hop in the car. This is you here? This is you? Just No, no. Get in the car, Sonny. Okay. I'm in the car. We're heading to Dondales. Sonny, put down the car. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. Bro, my head is just so sore. All right, I'll put the car down. This guy is not okay. Why'd you put it in the water? That's water? I thought that was fuel, like gasoline to fill the tank back up. I wouldn't want to put it in. That's not how you fill up a car. Anyway, Sonny, just follow me. We gotta go and see Dondale. Is this Dondale's tower up here? He's doing science and things? Yeah, he's doing science, Sonny. And this stuff is gonna help you out. I hope so, because my head really hurts. Dondale! Dondale! Something's wrong with Sonny! Melon, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Dondale, he's been acting really weird and you can hear him right now, right? He's doing this weird door thing where he just opens it and closes it over and over again. What is he doing? I just heard him break something. He even broke one of your legs! Lamps. Oh, he's breaking stuff now. So I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with him, and I'm so sorry. Satisfying. He has a brain virus. The chocolate that he ate was expired, which is how he got the brain parasite in the first place. Do you think there's anything we can do to help? Oh, hey, Dondale. <laughs> Sonny, I, I'm gonna need you to sit right in this corner for a little bit and just not do anything, okay? Thank you. Yep, yep, that one right there. Okay, no problem. You need to use the brain scanner in the basement and go inside of his head to cure him. Dondale, are you serious? Okay, Sonny, we need to go to the basement. Follow me! Is this the basement? Are these the basement? These are the- are these the basement? No, Sonny, the basement is down here. Okay, I'm right behind you, watermelon. According to Dondale, there should be a brain scanner! Yes, this is the chart, okay? This is where Sonny sits down. This looks all good. Sonny, I'm gonna need you to sit in this seat right there. Okay, no problem. I'm in the seat. No, 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 Sonny. I, I really need you to, like, actually listen to me this time. Please! Please, Sonny! Okay, where is it? What do you, what do you need? This one, this one, this one. Do you want some chocolate? It tastes really good. No, I, I, no, no, I don't want chocolate, Sonny. This is what poisoned you in the first place. Okay, I'll sit right here. No, no, Sonny, I need you to, I need you to, like... Oh, this! Sorry, why didn't you just say sit on this? Yeah.
Yes, now you're understanding, Sonny. Whoa. Melon, why is this doohickey attached to my brain right now? Uh, it's- I'm doing fun things. You'll get a candy after, don't worry. Oh, perfect. Now all I do is press this button right here. And that should work. There it is! There's the virus! It's located in his corporeal artificial lobe. Uh, Melon, I think that's my frontal lobe. Let me check. Yeah, it's the front of my head. That's where it's been hurting. So, how do you know that's the frontal lobe? You've been stupid all day. I know I've been pretty stupid today, but when it comes to neuroscience and astrophysics, I'm the best in the game. Okay, well, that's gonna be very useful. I'm gonna need your help. Gonna have to put on this suit. Melon, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. You'll get a candy. Wait, I want the chocolate now. Give me the chocolate now. No, no, no chocolates. No chocolates. I I said you'll get a candy. All right, I'm sitting in my chair. What's that funky suit for? Don't you worry about it, Sonny. You might feel just a little bit of pain. Hold on and go! Wait, why do I see a melon coming through this pipe? Oh, guys, I think I'm in Sonny's brain. The cerebellum. The cerebellum. Cerebellum. Hey, melon, is that you in my cerebellum? He is a genius. He knows so much about the brain. And Sonny, how can I hear you right now? Because because you're inside of my thoughts and my mind. Wait a second. Does that mean I can control you? Or does that mean you can control me? Um, I don't know. Let's find out. What Do you feel this? You feel this? Ow! Dude, chill! Ow! Oh, sorry. Here, I'll put it back. I'll put it back. It was just a little bit of brain matter. Don't worry. Okay, I have lots of that, so I should be fine. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I've got to somehow get to the frontal lobe. Sonny, I need your help. Right now, I'm in the cerebellum. How do I get to the frontal Lobe. The cerebellum. You're gonna need to complete any challenges that are in your way and destroy the virus. Please, my brain hurts. All right, all right, I got you. I got you, Sonny. Right now, it seems like there's some parkour in here. I guess you really think about Albies a lot, huh, Sonny? I do, and I think about becoming the goat every day, so I practice mentally. It makes me stronger. Okay. It's actually pretty tough. This obby ain't easy, Sonny. Hey, Melon, whatever you do, please don't break anything. Ow! Ow! Why is the water poisonous? Why is there poisonous water in your cerebellum? Bro, I don't know. Let me take a closer look. If I meditate, I should be able to see inside of my mind and help you out. Whoa! Melon! I can see in my brain! I can see you! I can't see you. Yeah, it's because I'm everywhere. Dude, that is so weird. So you can see me right now breaking this? Yo, Melon, please don't! Why, Melon? I want a giraffe, but I'm a turtle eating waffles. The shark-infested egg yolk is the only way in or out of my... Sir sorry, I'm sorry, Sonny! Oh, thank goodness. I don't know what happened, but I was just starting to say weird stuff. You're good, though, now, right? Like, everything's okay? I mean, my head still hurts, but I can talk normally. Okay, I didn't cause irreversible damage. That is always good. Now, it's time to defeat this... Ah! Yeah, Melon, I think that's the shark-infested egg yolk I was talking about. Ugh, yes, yes, yes. Hey! Just a few more jumps. Bing, bada, boom, and... Whoa, this is weird. This might be your brain root. Hey! Just don't damage it. It's a nerve. Okay, okay. So, like, don't do that. No, no, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> that's for when you were in my head, Sonny. Not cool, bro. Not cool. All right, where do I go from here, Sonny? I'm really confused. <gasps> Wait. According to my calculations, if that looks like the yellow part of the brain, mm. this must be the way. Melon, you must go to my thalamus. Oh, you're right. I'm in the green part. Uh, Sonny, I'm really confused right now. Yo, there's viruses. Yo, virus spreader. Yo, this is what's causing all the damage. Yo, he does, he does, he does damage. He do damage though. He do damage though. Melon, destroy it, please, please. He hurts though. Yes. Oh, why are the viruses in your brain so powerful? Powerful. Because how else could I get infected? You think a weak virus could hurt me? Of course they're powerful. Uh, I think a lot of weak things could hurt you, Sonny. Yeah, like a melon. Pretty weak and pathetic and feeble. And it hurts me. Ow! 
3.141592653589793238462364 Okay, Sonny, I'm not gonna hurt your brain anymore. You get really weird every time. Good, cause you almost made me recite a hundred digits of pi. Wait, you can recite a hundred digits of pi? Hold on, let me see this. 3.141592 Okay, I changed my mind. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Sonny, I'm not seeing any ghost blocks around here. Yo, you're right! There are ghost blocks! I told you there was a way through. Now you're in my thalamus for real. Yo, Sonny, there's a lot of viruses in here. I don't think I can take them. Melon, you have no choice. Don't you want to fix your best friend and brother? Or do you want me to be sick forever? Okay, Sonny, 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 I have an idea. I want you to try and imagine a diamond sword. Bro, what do you think's gonna happen? I'm just gonna picture a diamond sword and suddenly one's gonna to appear? Yo, there's a diamond sword down there. Wait, that actually worked. Okay, Melon, you've got to get to that sword and defeat these viruses. I got this. I got this. I'm going down. I'm going down. Oh no, this is not good. All right, die. Ah, ah, they do damage. Have a heart. Have a heart. Run, Melon. They're slow. There's a fourth one. Ah, Melon, it's fine. You died in my brain. It's not real life. It's like a simulation. I got one of them down, Sonny. I got one of them down. But I can only die a certain amount of times before it becomes real. Yo, yo, I'm wrecking them. I'm wrecking them. You got this, bro. True. If you die too many times, my brain will reject you and you won't be allowed to come back inside. Stay away. Is that your war cry? It is, bro. There's only two left. One left. Yes. Sonny, does your brain feel any better? Uh, a little bit, but not that much better, to be honest with you. Those were the spreaders. Those were not the root problem. You're right. I've got to somehow get to the frontal lobe. Sonny, it looks like there's a bunch of exits, but which one do I go through? Whatever you do, don't jump down the green. Why? What happens if I jump down the green? That's my temporal lobe, and believe me when I say, you do not want to go there. Okay, okay. So, it looks like I'm gonna have to go through the pink part. If I'm looking at the map, that looks pretty accurate. Yeah, that's actually exactly where you want to go. Yeah, but Sonny, there's no way for me to get up there. I need a grappling hook or something. Maybe. Maybe if I think about it really hard, I can get you a grapple hook. Yeah, dude, like the diamond sword. Imagine up me a grapple hook. Uh, grapple hook. It's not working. Grapple hook, please. Still not working, Melon. Oh, if only we had Quandale Dingleberry. Wait a second. I can picture Quandale. He's got a small shop. I see him now. I see him now. A little, little booth. Yes, yes. What is he selling there? I'm looking deeper. Oh, he's selling grapple hooks. And wait, they're on sale? They're free of charge. Yo. Yeah. Oh, Quandale, what's up, my dude? Give me that grapple hook, my buddy. What's that? This grappling hook is epically awesome and free. Thank you, bro. Now it's time to dip out of here. And just line it up and let's go. And just like that, I'm one step closer to saving Sunny. Melon, where'd you go? I can't see inside of my head right now. I must have used up too much brain power. Created Quandale's shop. Do 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 Hey Melon, can you hear me, bro? I got kicked out of my brain. I can't see inside anymore. This is weird. This is a weird dead end. Oh no! I must have used up too much brain power trying to create the Quandale Dingle Brain Shop. This must be a ghost block or something. Yo, where am I? This is insane, Sonny. Yo, Melon, you can hear me again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonny, I just have a question. It says I'm at the Parietolo. Is that where I'm supposed to be? You mean you're at the parietal lobe? I told you not to go there. You were supposed to go to the pink path. Dang it. I'm sorry, Sonny. Uh, I thought you meant like yellow because yellow is your favorite. You're right, bro. It is my favorite color. But now you're stuck in my wealth of knowledge. Does it look like a library in there? It actually does. Okay, Sonny, do you remember that one time you were stuck inside my head? Yeah, what about it? Do you remember it now? Remember what now? Hey, uh, Sonny, do you remember, uh, where you store all your diamonds in that chest and there's like a thousand of them? Yeah, dude, it's in my secret stash. Okay, that's great, that's great. Uh, do you remember it now? Remember what now? Are you talking about where I wet my 
bed last time? <laughs> wait, what? You wet your bed, dude? That's embarrassing. No, wait, what? Why did I say that? No, I saw what I saw what I'm ta no, I saw what I'm talking about. Guys, I don't feel bad. He's done way worse to me. Okay, Sonny, I need help getting out of your parietal lobe. What is it? Like a giant maze of knowledge in there? Yes, it is. Can you do something to help me? Okay, so I can't see what's going on in there, but I might be able to light up a path to show you the way out. Really? If I think hard enough. <laughs> Is it working? Is it working? Yo, the lights are activating. It's working, Sonny. Okay, I'll keep thinking about it. The exit. Just thinking about the exit. Think harder, Sonny. Think harder. I'm thinking as hard as I can. Are the lights still on? Yes, the path is lighting up. This is awesome. Yo, yes, yes. Please get me out of here. Yo, you actually led me to the exit, Sonny. Let's go. This pressure plate should take me somewhere. Yo, it opened a secret door. Whoa, what is this place? Sonny, according to my map, I think we're going backwards. I'm entering the purple bit of your brain now. Melon, I'm furious with you. Stop taking wrong turns. First you go in the yellow, now the purple. What's next? Sonny, you literally guided me here. Yeah, but I didn't have a choice. It was the only way out of the labyrinth of knowledge. <sighs> okay, Sonny, I'm gonna just continue moving forward. Uh, step on this pressure plate. Oh, this door opens. I wonder where it leads. If you don't get out of there in the next 10 seconds, I'm gonna spawn in TNT and explode you! Wait, hold on, Sonny. I, I messed up the run. Let me do it again. That's it. I'm thinking about it. I can't do it, Sonny! I can't make the run! I'm thinking about the letter T, the letter N, and the letter T! Chill! I'm so angry! Angry! Melon! I see you now! Die! Chill! Chill! What is that? What, what are you? What is going on? Sonny? <laughs> I am Sonny, and I'm tired of you ruining my brain cells! Okay, calm down, Sonny. I'm gonna need you to take a chill pill. How are you in your own brain? Whoa. I'm in my spirit form. This is awesome. Okay. Okay, Sonny, I think we can make this work. Just stand on one of these pressure plates, and I can get going. Yeah, which pressure plate? Huh? Uh, here, here. I'll stand on one and you can actually go. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Only a dumb melon would think I would stand in a pressure plate for him. What do you think? I'm here to help you? Are you out of your mind? You're stuck in my brain. You're driving me crazy. Absolutely. B A N A N A S. That's bananas. I think I understand what happened. Sonny, you must have gotten so mad that the anger inside you materialized. Dang right it did. And now I'm over here on this side. What? You gonna try to come through this doorway? Come on, Melon. Get to the next area. Cure me. Ah, oh, dang it. You are so dumb, so slow, and mostly so dumb. I can do this. I can do this. Check this out, Sonny. Check this out. I don't even need you. I don't even need you. Wow, very impressive. I did it. Is this even the right way? Uh, yes. I think. I don't know. You're the brain guy. This looks like the problem. Problem, melon. This must be why my head's been hurting so much! Dude, okay, we'll get rid of it. We'll get rid of it. What do we do, Sonny? It's your brain. You know it better than anyone else. You need to get inside of this structure and destroy the virus along with their leader. Okay, hold on. Let me get a better look inside. What's going on up there? Yo! There's a chocolate fountain inside of your brain, Sonny, and it looks like it's making chocolate viruses. You've got to be kidding me. That chocolate that got delivered after I waited for Five hours is what caused this type of damage? Yeah, bro. That chocolate messed you up. But it was so yummy. Dude, you don't eat expired chocolate ever. Sonny, how are we gonna get in there? Do I have to do everything around here? Yo, calm down. I'm following you. you gotta just jump and look around and jump some more. And I have no clue where I'm going either. I'm just angry. Okay, relax, relax. Hold on. Let's all calm down and collect ourselves. If you find a way to jump on this you should be able to get out of here oh look it's up here you gotta go like this and then like oh wait that's too far up uh melon you have that pickaxe right i'm just gonna go and do it like this sonny i don't want to cause any more damage to your brain i was gonna give you permission to smack it nope it's okay we'll just do it legit yes sonny i made it up here there's literally nothing here there's gotta be a way in you gotta go up here and then up here what are you stupid you nincompoop ow calm down yo sonny Sonny, look out! Look out! I'll save you. I'll save you, Sonny. Keep running. Keep running, angry Sonny. Ow! Uh, you died. Yeah, the virus is inside of that place. Good luck. Okay, okay. It's all up to me. I'm the only one that can save Sonny now. Ah! 
that's a big boy. All right, I gotta be careful here. I gotta think this out. Melon, I died. I'm no longer in my angry spirit form, but I can see inside of my brain again. Where are you? Uh, Sonny, I'm just gonna close this door. There's a big old mean virus looking guy. I need something to defeat him. Yo, that's the delivery man. He's business chocolate. You can tell because he's wearing a chocolate hat and he has a business suit. Oh, wow. So do you have like a flamethrower or something so I can melt him? Oh, let me think about it. I've got to meditate. Um, bada 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 um, um. Melon, it worked. There's a chest back here. I don't see a chest anywhere, Sonny. Just look up. Just look up. Whoa, there is a chest. Yo, what's in here? A mini gun? Yo, with this, I could surely defeat these chocolate viruses. Okay, business chocolate. Say hello to my little friend. Die! Go, go, go! I gotta move! Wait, are they shooting stuff at me? Yo, they have guns too! Yo, yo! There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, Melon. You got this! I gotta take down the shooters. Yes, I got rid of the shooting chocolates. Now, time to take out the rest of them. Melon, you killed the boss. He's dead. Oh, <laughs> yo, that was actually light work with this machine gun. And the final virus. Yo, those guys were weak, Sonny. Well, you did imagine a flamethrower, and the best I could do was a minigun, which is pretty cool, too. Well, that was pretty easy, bro. They're all dead. Yo! What the heck? Okay, okay. Uh, husks, you're gonna have to go. Sonny, there's a lot of damages in your brain. Why are there more virus spreaders? Wait. Wait, the boss is back. What the heck? Take them all out. Take them all out. Yo, this guy's got a gun. Oh, I'm super low. I'm super low. No, 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 no. There's still more. There's still more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two hearts. Two hearts. Melon, please hurry up and defeat them all. I'm trying, Sonny. Go down. Oh, no, they have guns. They got guns. I'm so low. Two hearts. Two hearts. And I got to take this boss out again. Go down. Yes, now it's just the boss. Oh, I keep taking out, but there's always more. Oh, I'm feeling really dizzy too, Sonny. What is going on? Melon, you spent too much time in my brain. You've got to get out of here quick before you get trapped forever. Oh, where do I go? Where do I go? The same way you came in. Oh, all right, well, I'll have to take out the boss again. Let's go. Okay. Yo, good guy too. Oh, that was close. Virus, go away. <laughs> Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Let me help. Let me out. Gotta go. I got to get out of here. Yes. Yes. Ow. One heart. Yo, I gotta get out of here. Whoa. TNT. Yo. Yes. Yes. It blew up away. It blew up away from me out of here. And I gotta keep moving. How does this keep happening? Melon, you destroyed all the spreaders. But the boss, he keeps coming back. There's only one thing I can do. I gotta handle this myself. Get angry. Yes, I'm in my own brain again. That's it. I'm destroying everything you've put in my head. The chocolate must go. Activating death ray. Melon, run. Melon, run. I'm blowing this place to smithereens. I gotta get out of here. Yo, there's a straight line. There's a way out. Let me out. Grandmother! Goodbye, boss. Die. Whoa, what just happened? Yo, Sonny, you good? You get that virus? <sighs> Uh, Sonny? <sighs> oh. Guys, I think he blew up too much of his brain. Subscribe in the next three seconds to restore Sonny's brain. Three, two, one. Oh, I feel pretty good. Yo, Sonny, you're back. I'm so glad you're okay. Dude, I feel like a million diamonds. Oh, I could go for some chocolate right now. Uh, don't eat that, Sonny. Wait, don't eat it. Today in Minecraft, I used a secret mind control device to prank my friend Melon. Must obey Sonny. Must give him all my diamonds. Yeah. Yo, goats, this is too good. Must press like and subscribe on this video right now. Hey, Sonny, hey, Sonny, look what I got from my trade. Yo, calm down, Melon. What's going on, bro? Is that a bazooka? Yeah, bro, I got a bazooka. And check this out. There's a dumb little pig over there. See ya. Melon, that's my pig. Uh, sorry about that. I, I just thought he was a normal pig. My bad. You could clearly tell he was attached by a lead. That was my cute little piggy, Pablo. And now he's dead. Melon, <laughs> Take the bazooka back to the villagers and get a return on that. It's way too much power. You can't hold it. Okay, hold on. Wait, let me test it out on your sheep too. No, Melon. That throat, you absorbed it. Mm, delicious sheep. All right, it's too much power. I agree. I'm going to bring it back. But first... Ah! 
Ow! I hurt myself too. Melon, you're too irresponsible to use a bazooka. Give it back to the villagers. Okay, fine. You're probably right. Seeing as I just blew myself up. Here you go, Mr. Farmer. Take your bazooka back. Okay, guys. While Melon's returning his bazooka, I gotta show you something I've been up to. I've been saving up some really powerful items. I have an electron control device and a linked controller that'll allow me to mind control Melon. If you go to remember a few months ago, I mind control Melon from inside of his head. Today, I'm gonna repeat the process, but a little bit differently. I've gotta take my microchip and put it inside of this cake. So let's just bake this up really fast. Just gotta put it there, add the electron control device, boop. It worked! I now have a microchip control cake. This is perfect. When Melon sits down in his chair to eat it, he'll have no idea that he's actually eating a mind control microchip. This is perfect. And then I'll be able to control him with this device and see everything he's doing. Oh, wait. If I want to see what he's doing, I got to really quickly build my TV. Got to go upstairs. Got to go upstairs. The mind control TV supplies. I've just got to place it down like this. Yes, it's perfect. And it will now display Melon's point of view for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess all that's left to do is wait for Melon. Oh, it's been a long day of trading, and I got one emerald for that bazooka. Guys, I hope Melon gets home soon. I'm pretty hungry myself. I am starving. Sonny, what's for dinner? Cake. Delicious cherry cake. Oh, Sonny, before I eat this cake, I want to tell you that I managed to negotiate a steal from the villager. I traded one whole bazooka for an emerald. Bro! You bought the bazooka with a stack of emeralds, and he only gave you one back? That's a ripoff. I think that's a deal. And this cake is also a deal. Give me that. Oh, mm, 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 mm. that was delicious. All right, let me eat mine. You want another slice? Are you hungry? What's going on? Oh, yeah, let me get some of that. Mm. No, that's my cake. You almost hogged it all, Melon. Dang it. Now I'm full, belly's full, and it's time for me to hit the hay. See you, Sonny. Yeah, good night, Melon. I'm pretty tired, too. How is he already snoring? I don't get it. Good morning, Melon. Good morning. I'm feeling great today, Sonny. <sighs> Actually, I think I might go hit up the mines or something. Yeah, let's do that. I'll be right behind you. I just got to check on something really fast. Okay, guys, Melon should have digested the microchip just enough so that I can mind control him now. It's time to test this baby out. And activate. It's working. I can see everything that Melon's doing. Okay, time to try this thing out. Melon, start jumping! Wait, what's going on? Why am I jumping? Okay, okay, that works, that works, that's good. Stop jumping. Whew. Okay, things are back to normal now. All right, time to grab some gear. And Sonny, I'm gonna go mining because you've been slacking recently. We got no more diamonds. Yeah, because you spent all the diamonds to get emeralds to trade the emeralds for a bazooka that you traded back for one emerald. Um, so it pretty much sounds like you're lazy and weren't mining to me. Now, time to begin my mining journey. Digging straight down. Whatever, Melon, I'll catch up with you later. Now, guys, it's time to go up to our mind control facility and do some <laughs> pranks to Melon. Guys, I've been in the cave for a minute now and I haven't found diamonds. Speak of the devil, I got them. Give me this, give me this, give me this. Yo, there's more diamonds just across this lava. Hold on, I just gotta do a little bit of parkour to get there. Gotta grab some blocks. Guys, Bella thinks he's safe to collect these diamonds. I'm about to use my device and prank him into the next dimension. Melon, you're gonna walk into that lava. Beep, bop, boop. What the heck? No, what just happened? What just happened? Let me out. Please, please. No, I had three diamonds on me and I was about to get more. <laughs> Yo, yo, goats, that was way too perfect. He just lost everything. That's what he gets for blowing up Pablo the piggy. Sonny, Sonny, do you have a pickaxe? I need to use it to get those diamonds down there quick. Uh, Melon, you took my pickaxe. I don't have one now. Bro, 
What the heck? You just spend all day in that attic now, it seems like. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to clean it up so we have a guest room. <sighs> Bro, no one goes in there anyways. I'll just go and do all of this myself to get those diamonds. Melon, your mom is coming to visit soon. I gotta make sure the place is clean. Dude, I don't even like my mom anyways. Yeah, me neither, bro. Your mom sucks. Bro, we have the same mom. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, guys, I've been gathering supplies and resources for like an hour now. And wait, what is that, bro? Hold on. <laughs> that looks like a minefield. Or is it a bunch of jelly donuts? Warning minefield. Okay, I definitely don't want to go in there. I'm just gonna walk the other way. And it's time to use the mind control device. And Melon, you do want to go in the minefield. Boop. Wait, what's going on? Why am I walking back? What's happening? No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. No, what the heck? Uh-oh. Yo, this is so perfect. This might even be better than when I was mind controlling from inside of his head. Because now I don't have to blow up with him. All right, Sonny. Quandale said there's a dungeon around here containing epic loot. We'll get a totem of undying. This is gonna be sweet. Quandale never lets us down. Yo, there's some lava parkour, Sonny. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, guys, I uh, I need to use the mind control device secretly here to make Melon fall into the lava. This is gonna be so awesome. Uh, Sonny, why are you in the corner like that? Oh, hey, Melon, not much. I was just trying to build up some courage to do the lava parkour. All right, bro, I don't I don't know. I swear I heard an evil monologue over there. I don't know what you're talking about. Although, if I get across the lava first, the totem will be all mine. You know you ain't getting across first. Let's go. Mind control into lava. Boop. Wait, why did I stop? What's going on? What the heck? No, no. I can make this out. I can make it out, please. Please, no. Yo, you exploded, Melon. Nice one. Don't worry. I'll get the totem. I got it all under control. Yes. No, I want that totem. You probably do, but you're dead. The lava burnt you to a crisp. Okay, Sonny, according to Quandale, the treasure should be on this island right here. So it's this one. Follow me. Okay, I'm right behind you, Melon. I feel kind of bad about the whole losing of the Totem of Undying thing. So, yeah, I'll help you out with this treasure hunt. Yes, please just let me have this one. Uh, okay. I think we should start right about here. Gotta be here somewhere, right? Yeah, something. Uh, Melon? Uh, what is that? Why is there a TNT here? I've never seen that when you go treasure hunting. Bro, I don't know. I'm just gonna ignore it and look somewhere else. That's really creepy. Melon, I dare you to light it up. Come on, do it. Sonny, that's a bad idea. Plus, I don't even have flint and steel, so I can't do it anyways. Oh, that's not a problem. I got you covered, bro. You know, Sonny, you're probably right. I could just run away after anyways. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you could definitely just run away after. Mind control him so he can't move. Wait, I can't move. What's going on? What's going on? No, what happened? Why couldn't I move? I'm finally back, Sonny. Did I get the loot at least? Uh, well, I didn't look. It's your loot. I didn't even want to check. Yes, I got a trident and diamonds. Let's go. That's actually awesome. So you're not mad at me for trying to encourage you to blow up the whole TNT and kill you? No, no, no. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Don't worry about it. Please don't hit me. No, my totem. Why? <laughs> now I'm the only one with loot. Okay, guys, I'm super annoyed with Melon. He destroyed my totem of undying for no no reason. So it's time to get revenge. Melon's gonna come back through the village pretty soon here, according to my calculations. And when he comes near the iron golems, there's new microchip technology in my mind control device that'll let me turn him into any mob I want. Ah, yes. Go towards the village, Melon. Why don't you go say hi to those iron golems? Do, 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 do. Ah, finally, I'm almost back home. And zombie mode. Wait, what's going on? Why am I changing colors? Uh, wait. Why am I a zombie? Oh no, the eye golems, they're mad. No, no, I can only walk because I'm a zombie. This is not good, please. Yo, no, stay away, stay away, please. No, 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 no. We can talk about this to iron golems. Iron golems, we're chill, right? We're good, we're good, right? We can, uh, uh, oh no, no! This is the best night ever. Melon just got destroyed by the village golems. Sonny? The weirdest things have been happening to me recently. I gotta tell you about it. It's actually... Uh... <laughs> what? 
is this? Hey, Melon. Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Melon's POV? Don't think I didn't see that. Wait, have you been controlling me this whole time? Uh, <laughs> no. Why would I do that? Make it a run for it. Make it a run for it. Hey, Sonny. I'm gonna find you. You are so weird, Melon. Sonny, I'll give you one last chance to hand over the device. Yeah, what if I just used it to mind control you, huh? Uh, Sonny, don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Just give me a second and... Guys, I've got to tell you something. I never sold the bazooka. <laughs> I just mined up one emerald and convinced Sonny I sold it. Oh, uh, hey there. Hey, Quandale Carl. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got this mind control device. I use it to troll Melon, make him do dumb stuff. You saw that? I know, bro. High five. That was awesome. What did you say? Uh, nothing. Uh, a quick mind control Melon to- Die! Where is this device? Where is this device? This is what he's been using to control me the whole time. That doesn't make any sense. Sonny, there's got to be more to it than this. <gasps> Guys, what is going on? Melon just shot me with a bazooka, and now I came back to life in this lava pit. Melon! Melon, what have you done? Hey, Sonny, I see you fell for my little trap. Uh, Melon, I don't know how I fell here. One moment I was alive, the next you exploded me, and then after that, I came back to life right here. Sonny? Tell me how it works. How what works, Melon? Tell me how the controller works or I'll lower you into this lava. Melon, you don't have to do it. You really don't have to. No, Melon! Melon, stop! Please! It's hot! It's hot! How does this thing work? Um, let me just think about it and... Uh, Melon! <laughs> how does this thing work? So, uh, you know, uh, in the village, there are these villagers and, uh... Guys, there's gotta be a way out of here. How are Hurry up! Hurry up! Okay, Melon, fine. I'll come clean. You know that cake that I made you for dinner the other night? Yeah. The one that was really delicious and full of cherries? Yeah, what about it? I actually put an electron microchip converter in there that allows me to control your body and all of its particles so I could tell you what to do and even transform you into a zombie. What? Sonny, how do I get this out of my body? I think you already know the answer. What goes in <laughs> must come out. Yo, you're right. I gotta rip a fat one. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, I created a mess. Yo, yo, I found it. The device. An electron tube. This is what you use to control me. Well, actually, technically, it was modified from Quandale Dingleberry. But yeah, pretty much the same thing. Well, Sonny, do you have anything to say for yourself? Please let me out of this cage. That would be nice. Well, I was gonna say that you guys should like and subscribe. <laughs> and guys, quickly, before I burn, please. I'll get my revenge melon. Melon, bro, it's nighttime. Let's go get some sleep. Okay, bro, it's been a long day of work. I think you're right. It's time to get some sleep. I am tired. Let's get those ZZs. That's your bed, bro. I'm going to my bed. Yeah, yeah, get out of here, bro. I need that two-seater. All right, good night, dude. Okay, guys, what Melon doesn't know is I'm going to do something I've always wanted to try. Look at him sleeping over here, bro. He snores so loud. Listen to that. Oh, he's so annoying. I'm gonna go upstairs into the attic and grab my shrinking device. Then I've just gotta go back downstairs over to Melon and shrink myself. I'm tiny now. And I think I could probably squeeze in his melon now. Jumping in his head. Let's go. It worked. I'm falling into his head. Yo, this is what the inside of Melon's brain Rain looks like. Yo, I can even see straight out of his eyeballs. So it turns out Melon actually has five seeds for a brain, not just four. He's got a minecart with a dancing chicken. <laughs> what is this? He's so dumb. And then he's got his one true love always on his mind. The Melanie. This is pretty cool. But what does this button do? Ow, what was that, bro? Uh, Sonny, where, where are you? What, what the heck is going on? Yo. <laughs> 
Oh, guys, when I press this button, it zaps Melon. Hold on, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Ow, bro, what the heck is going on? Dude, I keep getting zapped. My head, it hurts. Yo, I've got a great idea. I'm going to try and make a bunch of gadgets so I can mind control Melon from inside of his head. Okay, guys, I got some blocks, and now it's time to build these gadgets out. Just need a nice platform up here for the, the mind control station. And then it's going to be like this. In case I've got to store any information, I'll place that there. Ooh, yes. I'm going to need some levers, buttons, and redstone links. That way I can interact with his core and his melon seed brain. All I need now is a place to sit down and control this thing. Actually, I want to make this look a little nicer. Yes, this looks so much better. Now that I've got my control system ready and I'm inside of Melon's brain, I could see everything perfectly. I just got to make sure this microphone's working. Hey, mic check. What, what do? Dude, I swear I just heard Sunny, bro. What is going on? Take this, Melon. Boom, boom. Ow, ow. What the heck is going on, bro? My head. It hurts so much. I definitely need to sleep this off. I'm going to bed. Wake up, Melon. This is your inner conscience speaking. Well, it's morning now. I'm feeling a lot better, guys. I wonder where Sunny went, though. That's really weird. Guys, I'm gonna turn the microphone back on and pretend to be Melon's inner voice. Let's go. Good morning, myself. It's a beautiful day, and I should go check the forest for Sunny. Uh, is that my own voice? What is going on? All right, I'm gonna go check the forest, though. Maybe Sunny's there. Yes, Sunny is in the forest. You should explore it carefully. Are you sure, inner voice? I don't know. You don't talk to the inner voice. The inner voice talks to you. Boom! Bang! Ow! Ow! What the heck, bro? <laughs> Stop! Inner voice. Okay, I'll listen to you. Sonny, where are you, bro? Oh, there's a beehive. I better avoid that. Inner voice here. I, Melon, really want to go and touch that beehive. I should punch it. I don't want to do that. Inner voice, please don't make me do it. Punch the beehive now. Bro, I can't stop myself. There's so many bees. What is this? I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Dude. Yo, goats. This is working so perfectly. I could get used to this. Yo, guys. I found this sick mine shaft. Yo. A ravine down on diamond level. Please. Please tell me there's some diamonds around here. Come on. Please. No way. I found diamondes. Yes. Diamonds. Just got a bridge across. Oh, that was close. I almost fell. Okay, guys. Guys, Melon just found diamonds. I've been waiting so long for his mining trip to be successful so that I can sabotage it. Let's go. Inner voice here. You should walk into lava. No, no, no. I'm so close to diamonds. I'm not doing it. No. Walk into lava now. No, please. No, no. Stop it. Stop it. No, please. I was so close to getting diamonds. What is wrong with me, inner voice? This is way too fun. I could troll melon forever with this okay guys i feel really bad for melon i've been trolling him a lot it's been hilarious but now i want to actually help him out because he found melanie she's off in the distance there but he's too nervous to say anything so i'm gonna give him a pep talk and a confidence boost but first i'm gonna zap him in the head boop bop beep ow what the heck that stupid head zap again melon this is your inner voice speaking inner voice not again please don't make me fall in lava you see Melanie over there? You're gonna go and talk to her and ask her out on a date. You're confident. You're handsome. Muscular. You have five melon seeds. Big brain. Super smart. You could do this, man. Strut your stuff and ask her out to that place you've always wanted to go. Yeah, you're right. I am strong. I am handsome. I am smart. I'm going up and talking to her, bro. I'm gonna make her fall in love. Not lava. Just love. Just love. And then bring her back to the melon patch. Just love. Uh, hey, Melanie. Uh, what's up? Zapping him. Zapping him. Ah! Ah! What the heck? My head! More confidence! You're handsome! Muscular! Seven feet tall! Built like a fridge with a six-pack of ass! Hey, Melanie, do you like my 14-inch biceps? What? You're into skinny guys? Ah! I'm running! Well, I tried. Ha ha ha! 
I guess he's just not Melanie's type. Yo, Sonny, Sonny, bro. This villager has a crazy trade. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. Sonny went missing, bro. What the heck? I was so excited to tell him about Sir Maximus Penjimton's trade. Yo, guys. Melon just found an insane villager trade. It's absolutely goaded. He's gonna get himself Silk Touch for a stack of coal. Not on my watch. I gotta go mess with him. Okay, guys. I got through the portal into the secret attic at our house. I just gotta go downstairs really quick and grab some stuff. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I gotta get my pickaxe out so this looks legit. And, uh, cool. I got some. Okay, good, good, good. Guys, is that Sunny in the house? Bro, I found Sunny. Yo, Melo, what's going on, dude? <laughs> Yo, what up, Sunny, bro? Where have you been, dog? You went away forever. Yo, chill. I just went mining. One of us needed to be productive, bro. So I was just getting some supplies. I got a bunch of coal. Bro, how much coal do you have? Uh, what? One, two, three, four stacks. Four stacks of coal. Bro, send me a stack, dude. This villager has an OP trade. One stack of coal for a silk touch pickaxe. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. No way. Okay, okay. Here's one stack of coal, dude. You gotta show me this villager later. Yo, I will, Sonny, but first I gotta flex my pickaxe on you. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I gotta go back upstairs quick. Jump into the portal. Yo, I'm back. Wait, what the heck happened to my portal? What is this? say in case of emergency one time use dang it i'm actually stuck in melon's head now whatever bro whatever i want to go mess up his villager trade quick all right where's this villager at he should be somewhere around here come on there he is mr Heyman. what's it do how it go sir maximus and just gotta do the trade yo sir maximus stop running from me uh mic check one two one two inner voice speaking, Mr. Melon, why don't you smack and slap that villager? Wait, no! Why? Why are you making me do this? The trade's gonna be so terrible now. Hit him with the one-two uppercut. Haymaker. No, stop this inner voice. Why? Melon, while you're at it, eat that coal. Eat it, eat it. Wait, what the heck? What's going on? Bro, where'd the coal go? Yo, guys, his coal's right here. He actually ate it. Let's go. Ah, this iron golem's after me. No. I'd say that was a successful prank. Okay, goats, take a look inside of this nightstand. I've got a hopper, a death ray TNT, and one flinted steel. And I think if I come to the back of Melon's head, his throat should be somewhere around here. Let's take a look. Yeah, there it is. So if I take the hopper and make him eat the death ray TNT and the flinted steel, he should poop it out soon. This is good. This is very good. Yo, I've been searching forever and i finally found it the melon village bro there's literally melons in here let's go and this village is massive and so cool bro can farm up and hopefully i can make some cool trades Just grab some wheat craft up some wheat and trying to make some bread real quick where's the crafting tables guess i'll have to make a fresh one making myself some bread here we go and time to munch up uh guys i think something was wrong with that bread oh my stomach hurts oh! oh i just pooped man that felt amazing wait what the heck is that bro i just got a death ray and flint and steel what is going on yo guys before i turn the mic on to troll melon let me zap his brain a bit boom zap bang ah, ah! what the heck is going on bro my head uh, mic check mic check inner voice here mr melon it would be be a brilliant idea if you took that TNT, planted it in the center of the village, and then lit it on fire! No! Please don't make me light it! You have to ignite that TNT in three, two, one! No! Bro, what have I done? Oh no, oh no! Bro, I've activated the death ray! Say goodbye to your melons! Not my melons! No! No! Why? Oh god. Yo! R-I-M. Rest in melons.
What have I done? The village is completely destroyed. There's literally nothing left. Okay, guys. Melon's finally made it to the nether. He's been trying to get these blaze rods for so long so he can get to the ender dragon. But we're about to ruin his fun. See all these zombified pigs? If I turn on the microphone, inner voice here. Uh, no, inner voice. Don't. Don't tell me to do something stupid, okay? You really want to tickle a zombified pigman? No, I I don't. I really don't want to. There's so many. Do it. Punch one. No. Ah, there's so many. Please. Oh, oh, I'm so low. I'm so low. Why? Why did you make me do it? There's a whole army after me. Come on, please. Oh my. I'm stuck. There's so many of them. They're surrounding me. The only way out is to jump down, Melon. Make the jump. No, I don't want to. No, no. Why'd you call me Melon in her voice? I'm you. Sometimes inner voice talks to self in third person. Inner voice. Inner voice is becoming sus. Very sus, inner voice. <laughs> Oh no, I left the mic on while I laughed. Bro, why was I laughing? I didn't think that was funny, bro. I'm serious. That's it. Zap him. Ah, no, enough, bro. Ow, my head. Dude, I've had such bad luck recently. I keep doing stupid things and my head is killing me. I gotta take this helmet off, bro. I gotta let my head breathe a little bit. Okay, guys, I feel kind of bad. I've been trolling Melon a lot from inside of his head and I think it's time I stop. He needs to take control of his life and I don't feel great that I'm giving him a headache. He's not been feeling good. So it's time for me to leave. There's an emergency exit just right back here. Oh, I gotta, I gotta sneeze. Ah, uh, ah, uh, two. No, what the heck? My exit, it just got covered in snot and boogers. This is disgusting. There's no way out of here anymore. I can only remove some of the boogers. Ah, gross melon. There's gotta be another way out of here. Come on, maybe this chicken minecart or perhaps behind Melanie's love heart. No, all right, the minecart, the minecart. Get out of here, chicken. I need the ride. I need this ride. Stop, give it up. I can't get this chicken out of here. There's gotta be a different way out of Melon's head. It's not the minecart. That's just a perfect loop. Yuck! There's gotta be another way out of here. First, let me grab my emergency supplies. This could get ugly. I gotta suit up and be ready for anything. Like this skeleton way up there. Get out of Melon's head! That's what's probably making him sick. I'll get rid of this infection, Melon. Don't worry, bro. It totally wasn't me pressing the zapper. Yo, chill. That skeleton's dead. There's more. There's more. Die! Yo, I found another way out of here. It's just up through this parkour. If I can make these jumps. Gotta go here, up here, on the glass, onto this glass, and over the top. And then I've just gotta get into this hallway. Huh, I'm in. Let's go. Where the heck does this lead? Oh, gross. Am I in his throat? And I'm gonna drop into his stomach? Ugh. Yo, what the heck has he been eating? I gotta take these striders out. They're probably making him feel sick. Melon, you shouldn't eat these, bro. Die. Get away from my friend. I'm the only one who could cause him pain and suffering. Not you. Yeah, that's right. Fall into his stomach acid. I'll get rid of these guys. If it's the last thing I do. Nice. They're all gone. Now, where the heck am I supposed to go? I feel like I've got to get through his intestines and then get pooped out. Wait a second. Is this the exit? Let's go. Yo, we're going through his digestive tract. This is so weird. I do not recommend this to anybody. Where is this gonna lead? Ow! Where am I? I'm lost in a maze of melon juice. This is gross. It goes deeper. I think he's gonna poop me. Ow! One heart. I gotta eat some bread. Yo! What is in his gut right now? That is disgusting. I gotta kill this piranha plant. Yo, I just cheesed it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Ow, this is poisonous water. It's literally stomach acid down here. Wait, a foliath seed planting grass and every half a day, a baby foliath will get hungry. Wait a second. This was growing inside of melon. No wonder he's felt so sick lately. I gotta get this out of here. Okay, how am I gonna make this escape? One jump here, one jump here. Oh no, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what we think it is. Melon's poop. 
Yo, I really gotta go to the bathroom, bro. Let me go to my homemade toilet. And I gotta unleash the bees. No! Yo, wait, what was that, bro? Uh, Sonny, why do I see your name tag? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I, uh, I'm fine. I'm in the house, bro. I'm taking a nap. I'm just taking a nap. Ow! What the heck? Big man Sonny tried to swim. What just happened? Yo, Sonny, where have you been these past few days? And why are you so small? Bro, you just pooped me out of your body. What? I pooped you out. That makes no sense. How were you in my my body. Okay, so I've got to confess, I was kind of curious what was in that brain of yours, so I jumped inside of your head after shrinking way down tiny, and turns out you actually have five melon seeds for a brain, not four. Yo, that means I'm really smarter. And wait, is that why I've been getting random headaches? And is that why I've had this weird inner voice making me do random things? Maybe. Like, Melon, you should give me that axe right now. No, you're not my inner voice anymore. I'll give it to you. No, I like this. Melon, stop. Yes. Yeah, so I was mind controlling you for a little while in there. But now I lost my shrinking device in the lava pit. Bro, you deserve that, dude. With great power comes great responsibility, and you are not responsible. Well, if you guys want me to get normal size again, please like the video and subscribe right now. And click the next video on screen before Sonny burns to death. Please click it. Please!